About 70 officers are sworn to protect and serve this booming city, but a few bad apples can spoil the bunch. Well, every profession has bad apples, but not every profession has the right to take away your life, your liberty, uh, your property. Caldwell PD's slogan, your police, our community. But some in the community feel Caldwell police isn't working for them. I've seen things in the last 10 years that I've complained about personally, and it falls on deaf ears. Um, so I think that's why you need an investigation. Attorney F. Scott Larson says he represents clients trying to fight alleged misconduct from a small group of Caldwell PD officers. You don't want to blame the entire department. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a small group of an inner circle of people who, who do things their way. They're thuggish things. They're things that should be prosecuted, but it's been going on for a long time. This 32-year-old woman whose identity we're protecting is one of his clients. They're corrupt. I just want the story to be told, like, how what they used their badge for. She and another one of Larson's clients, Anna Banda, say the FBI contacted them around February of last year in connection to its investigation into some Caldwell officers. An investigation the city says is ongoing, one the FBI won't confirm to KTVB or the Idaho Press. I've seen a lot of police misconduct to what I feel was police misconduct, um, a lot of um, just the officers being excessive with traffic stops. The anonymous woman who says she was interviewed by the FBI says from 2018 to 2019, she had sexual relations with a now former officer while he was on duty and she was on drugs. He traded sex for me not to go to jail and then he took the drugs. So when someone's on drugs and is vulnerable, like he used a lot of that and he used his badge to get what he wanted. And it's put me in a lot of danger, actually. Five sources with knowledge of the investigation or police department tell Seven Investigates and the Idaho Press the FBI investigation has been going on for well over a year. Three of our sources say the FBI interviewed several officers. Most of our sources want to stay anonymous because of how sensitive this is. But three sources confirm the FBI probe centers around misconduct of current and former officers in Caldwell's street crimes unit. A high-ranking law enforcement official with knowledge of the investigation confirms the FBI is looking at alleged sexual relations at least one officer had while on duty. A retired law enforcement officer and an alleged victim tell us they're also investigating the way officers treat people suspected of drug crimes. The city confirmed the FBI is investigating one current officer. Law enforcement sources, alleged victims, and a former city employee with intimate knowledge of the department say at least one former officer who left in the fall of 2021 is involved. Police Chief Frank Wyant hasn't been in the office for the past several days. Lieutenant Dave Wright confirms he's taking on some chief-like responsibilities to keep the department running, like answering questions. Caldwell's new mayor, Jerem Wagner, was also out of the office on vacation when we tried talking to him this week. It's not clear whether the officers involved were ever placed on administrative leave, but Wagoner told Seven Investigates he hasn't asked any staff to resign, quit, or take a leave of absence. They shouldn't even be working right now. None of those cops should be working right now. Banda, who's lived in Caldwell for three decades, says misconduct and corruption within CPD isn't new. She was a bail bond agent when she says officers wrongfully raided her home in 2009. She sued over it. The city settled out of court and paid her. It's very hard for me to live in Canning County. It's very hard for me to trust the Caldo Police Department. But at the same time, we need officers. I think it's a cultural problem. Larson and our other sources hope the FBI investigation leads to a cultural shift in Caldwell PD. I can tell you that it is a specific unit. And it's a specific unit to where if you don't, if you don't play ball, they don't want you there. Um, and I can tell you, there is nobody who despises a corrupt or bad police officer more than a good one does. Some argue this is a pattern of behavior at Caldwell Police. According to the Idaho Statesman, peace officer standards and training records, or POST, show it decertified two other Caldwell Police officers in 2020 for inappropriate sexual conduct while on duty. I tried getting a hold of Caldwell's previous longtime mayor, Garrett Nancolis, for comment on this FBI invest investigation, seeing as it dates back over a year, according to our sources. He never got back to me. There are still a lot of unknowns about the scope and stage of this investigation, but we'll, of course, continue to stay on top of it.